in Wanzhen. Isn't that cool? And so I'm traveling, like I said, and uh, I guess not much more to say other than the most beautiful things and the prettiest things that I'm going to see probably you're not going to see on this on this uh, blog for till I get back because they require editing when I take little clips of, of pretty things and it's not just my head talking my head talking I don't cut it and then I can upload it right away from some uh, internet bar but not the stuff that I need to edit so that's that I'm in Wanjan getting here really painless it was beautiful I took the train overnight train there was a motor I missed the train and then a dude a, a tout at the I've been doing a lot of stuff on the gray market recently I even bought a Krispy Kreme donut on the, on the gray market in Bangkok the day before I left anyway a motorcycle dude was like, you missed the train, I know what to do. Get on my motorbike, I will charge you 100 baht for each station that we need to go to catch up to overtake this train. And he drove like a maniac, but he was he was good at it. He didn't give me a helmet, and I think that he should have, but uh, he, he was a maniac on the dance floor, and he got me there in four stations. And I got on the train, and it was a sleeper train, and it was beautiful. And in the morning, we woke up and... and went through customs and I've done that before and so it was fine. Being in Laos is fun. I just got here. I just got to Wianzhan and the tuk-tuk that I'm in has a problem. It just broke down and so the driver said wait here and I'm waiting and uh, I presume he's gonna come back because this is his tuk-tuk. He doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna give me his tuk-tuk for free or I will I will take it if he doesn't come back and I will I will just I'll make some money with it. I'll get it fixed up. I'll, I'll do a little driving know my way around the town, pick up some tourists. And if he does come back, I'm going to go find a hostel and that'll be fun.